Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has one job today on EAFC 24, and that is to make the new Centurions promo hype, because this game needs some hype content. With the cards and packs, SBCs, objectives, I hope we get excited for it today, because right now it doesn't feel the best, and hopefully EA changed that up today. Now, we're going to talk about everything related to Centurions, but also we've got Road to the Knockout upgrades coming today, and probably some decent market movements in coming today on the game as well that we need to talk about, so buckle in. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start really quick, as we always do, with yesterday's content. Wasn't a very busy day as expected right yesterday was just a great day to get some of those gameplay objectives done get your qualifications done for the upcoming week in league we had one sbc player that was expected one fourth interesting card here for the alternate positions he can play right back center back and center defensive mid and he's got really good defending play styles but the price here and the stats on the card don't look that great Sixty-three thousand coins honestly you can evo a card better than that in the new center back evo from trailblazer so that's a little bit of a disappointment but maybe if you want to try them out for the play styles you go ahead and do it 63k does seem to be a bit steep though for my opinion we also had marquee matchups yesterday which i don't know about you guys but i think these marquee matchups packs are getting worse like every single week I'm not saying that a premium gold players pack is bad but i think the packs even inside of here a small prime is decent but a prime mixed a mixed and a gold pack. I think that's maybe a step down from the previous weeks. Regardless, it did supply the market a little bit. Honestly, yesterday was a, a pretty quiet day on the market as well for a lot of areas. A lot of meta cards stayed the same. The promo cards didn't move that much. And hopefully there's a bit more action today so that we can potentially make some coins, especially with the weekend league. I think there will be. But before we get to the content today with Centurions, if we're turning the page to today, we have to talk about road to the knockouts because guys today is the day that ea said the first potential day i guess you would say that we could see upgrades for these cards we should see upgrades right ea said that the friday of every match week for any card that has hit an upgrade criteria we should see upgrades and modric some of these other cards that are getting upgraded today are going up in price but will they stay that way is the question now first of all i want to show you all the cards getting upgraded today holland Lewandowski, modric Big names in there, Jekko, Diaz, Diego Carlos, if he did the SBC, Bellerin, Andre Silva, Mateo Darmian, I know is an objective, a lot of people are excited for the upgrade four, and Piero Hincapi, I think that's more so one of the hype cards that's getting upgraded today, just because of how insane he's going to look, he's getting a plus two, but all of these cards are getting plus one in form upgrades, and Hincapi's only a plus two because he's 83 rated, so when are these upgrades going to happen? I'm expecting it to be early in the day. That's when EA has done these upgrades before. Um, and I think what you'll just see is you'll log into the game and, and they'll be upgraded, right? Now, I wonder if EA will upgrade these on time. That's always the question, right? I remember in previous years where EA has said early in the days on, on Fridays, um, at the end of each match week, we'll upgrade these cards. But then it takes them like multiple hours to do it. Uh, and sometimes last year they said they were going to do it on Fridays and they ended up doing it on Saturday. So I hope for the first upgrade time, they are on time. There's not many cards to upgrade. There's a handful, but not like a ton. So what I would think to see today is a lot of people have been buying up these cards for the upgrade, specifically Hinkapi, right? He was 85k yesterday. He's getting a plus two because his rating is low. It's a plus one inform upgrade again, just to clarify, but it's actually a plus two. If you know how informs work, um, he's very invested in, but he's going to look cracked. Imagine a plus two on this card, 86 pace, 85 defending, 83 physical. I could see a, a market today for a lot of these where since their prices have gone up and a lot of people have been investing in these and also how... A lot of people have been holding on to these, right? Think about Modric, right? His price didn't really go out, go down that much during the week. Maybe a little bit on game day, but it's been rising since then. Might be a decent time to sell on the hype if you don't want to risk it on any of these live cards, especially because after they get one upgrade, they're kind of losing out on a little bit of the hype because they already got that upgrade. Yes, it makes them a little bit of a better card, but at the same time, they can't get that upgrade again and we only have one upgrade left to get. So the safe route for sure is to sell on the hype. And I could see a few of these guys dropping off just a little bit after they do get their upgrade. I don't think a lot of the upgrades today besides Hinkapi are going to make people want to go out and like, oh my goodness, this card with a plus one is so cracked. I have to go and get it, right? That sort of thing today, especially with how their prices have been very expensive um, throughout this entire time. 
Luis Diaz getting a plus one going to 88. Is he going to look like a totally different card and go up to like a million coins? He's rare, so maybe for a minute, but I would sell on the hype if you have those. I'm not expecting big movements, though. I'm not expecting a crash. I'm just saying there might be a few people that sell after the upgrade because that's when prices are expected to go up. And if they do, I don't think it would be big amounts, but just wanted to preview guys for that today because that is a big part of the content coming today. Now, let's move on to the Centurions stuff. Yesterday, EA uploaded not one, but two loading screens showing us three cards in the promo. And since we have the leaks, we know it's Pedri, it is Hullet, and it is Marcus Rashford. Now, notice one thing right here with these cards. The playstyle pluses, which were the big focus of the Trailblazers promo, is not a focus of this promo because these are the same playstyle pluses that are on their gold cards or on their base versions. So we're not expecting any changes with that. It's all about the stats on these Centurions cards today. I don't know if they're going to add any playstyles to anybody who's in the team. Not expecting too much movement with those. That was all for Trailblazers. Now, this Centurions looks to be just kind of a normal promo, to be completely honest. But it is our first promo with the special icons and also our first promo with promo-specific evolution designs which makes me very curious today we might have to check evolutions at content will ea drop evolutions for the promo on the first day or is this just showing us cards that are going to be coming in the next week when we do get more evos right evos have dropped on wednesdays and thursdays i'm not expecting this today if we got an evo for a potential like if you could buy a centurions card today on the market and slap it right into an evo on a promo friday that would be really hype it would impact the market a lot so we're going to be watching out for that today but i wouldn't really expect this day one i think this is maybe just kind of like showing us that hey it's going to be coming we'll have to see now with the team coming in packs today this is the full squad team one of centurions now bar two three of these players they should all be in packs today i do expect ea to do a mini release maybe with one icon and a couple of these cards from team one i think that's why it's a little bit smaller of a promo team as well because we do have promo icons coming out today and this team like by the pretty good stats it looks, it looks okay, right? Pedri, Rashford, Tamori, Mendy, there's some big names in here. It's going to come down to the stats, as it always does. Now, speaking of stats, we do have a couple of confirmed stats leaks from Rick, TH21 on Twitter. He is showing, and we actually can learn a good amount about this. We are getting a 91 rated Hullet. That is the leak, and that would be a plus one overall on Hullet's already absolutely insane icon-based card. And that tells me and tells us that... It looks like EA is not going to be releasing little bro icons, at least for the top tier ones. And I would assume, like, you look at the icon team that's getting released today as well. Like, they're not going to release a lower rated Gattuso and, you know, a lower rated Kumin. Like, we would need upgrades for those guys, right? Those are already kind of cheaper icons on the market. They're not that tough to, to go and pick up. Only a couple hundred thousand coins. So I'm not expecting lower rated for, uh, versions of those at all. Maybe for Charlton, Jardinia, maybe they're going to mix it up and do a couple lower rated versions. So it's not 100% confirmed what they're going to do here. But at least for Hullet, he is going to be even better then his base icon card and one thing i'm noticing with the centurions here as well for rashford and tamori tamori's card is just a simple plus two upgrade right he's going from an 84 to an 86 and it's like plus twos across the board plus two pace plus two defending it looks like a cracked card but it's not that big of an upgrade just a decent one he's already a cracked card just makes him a little bit better now rashford's upgrade rashford's getting a massive upgrade he's getting i think plus five shooting 93 paces that looks like a cracked card he is going to be very expensive so that just makes me ask the question for the rest of this team they upgraded rashford a lot they upgraded tamori just a little bit what's it going to be for the rest of the promo squad are they going to do some of those like really good upgrades for some and then really just average upgrades for others i think that's what it might be today we'll have to see because that also as a gauge of a lot of the height if the cards are upgraded a lot like again we point back to the two different ways they can release promo cards in this game remember how the road to the knockouts like uh team two were super packable they had great boosts and the cards like the names that were in that promo weren't like that insane like yeah there was some there was a Lewandowski there was Usman but like they boosted Di Maria and he was super cheap right off the bat right Pepe was usable Acuna had a nice boost the Sissoko card was absolutely cracked Klaus was even pretty good. Joao Pedro got an insane boost. These cards were even live at the time, right? And still are live. Is EA going to go out with that sort of a type of vibe today where they're going to say, okay, yeah, we got some big names in here, but for, for like Ryerson or Lacazette, are they going to give Lacazette like 85 or above pace today? Are they going to give, um, you know, Lewis Dunk like 80 pace? Or are they going to give him like 70 pace? That's 
that's going to really determine how much hype there is, at least for the promo cards on the game today. And of course, it's really going to depend as well um, for, you know, their pack weight. So I know some of you guys might be saving packs. I thought about saving my rivals rewards, but honestly, ha, I just couldn't do it, man, because I was like, if I'm going to save any packs, I'm just going to save the 84 doubles, maybe rinse into a couple 75 plus player picks today with the packs I got from my rivals rewards. So I'm not expecting these cards to be super packable. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be an absolutely insane day of content in terms of the cards being packable. But I could see some of these being pretty cheap because maybe their upgrades aren't that good. And guys, it might be a little bit, quote unquote, easier to pack these promo icons because it is, right? Think about Foot Birthday last year, Trophy Titans especially. But the promos that we get special icons in, they just seem to be a little bit more packable than regular icons. But let's be honest, it's still impossible to pack these cards. You have to get very, very lucky so that's looking like the team that's going to be in packs today um and then let's go to the sbcs and talk about that odegaard is expected as today we have the mudrick leak as well and if ea really wanted to go all out and drop maybe two sbcs today they're also a leak for a vidic sbc now we might just see odegaard vidic and mudrick at some point entirely this weekend but i believe the rumor is that odegaard is going to be our sbc today and as long as he gets i mean a three-star weak foot would be a nice upgrade for odegaard is it enough though? They're, they're going to have to give him, if they give him 80 pace and a three-star weak foot, that could be a decent card. If the card looks like this with 80 pace and is not that expensive, it could be pretty hype. I mean, think about it. We have the last really hyped Friday SBC that we had was Rodrigo and that's going away today. So if EA wanted to replace a really hype Rodrigo with a really hype Odegaard, that could make some things move today. So I would watch for your Premier League links. Of course, a lot of people have been investing in a couple of the Arsenal cards and um, Risa, right, is a, obviously a really good link. I think even Norwegian managers are like 1.5K on the market, just as people expect Odegaard to be really hyped. I mean, it is an Arsenal player, but it's all going to depend on if he gets a weak foot upgrade, which he desperately needs, and is the SBC a decent value. Now, we're going to have to watch fodder during the weekend because this vintage, a lot of people would be very interested in doing, like the first promo icon player SBC of the year would be pretty big. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And of course, Mudrick, a lot of prem hype coming. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that for sure. But I think Odegaard is today and it's going to depend on the boost to, to see how good he is. Now, I do believe we're getting Danilo Perea as our objective today. That is something that uh, Rick has leaked as well. And these are the official stats, I think he... Yeah, he tweeted official stats. That card just... Uh, I, can he play center back? I don't know if Danilo Perea can play uh, center back, but that card looks like a center back. What's his alternate positions? He can. Okay. Now, that might have some hype today. If this guy has center back on the Centurion's card, I know it's only 75 pace, but at center back with 86 defense, 89 physical, and a PSG player and Portuguese links, that might not be a terrible objective, guys. Even what are the requirements here? Score six, four assists, and win six matches with three League One players. That could be an okay objective if you need the PSG links, which there seems to be a few PSG players, at least around the hype right now. We got Marquinhos recently. The Gioro card today, I think it's going to have a lot of hype as well. So maybe we'll keep an eye on that one. That could be at least decent for those that want to grind an objective. Now, with the way that it looks, I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I think it's going to be a mid-content day. I don't know if EA is going to deliver. I'm going to expect mid. And if EA deliver above and beyond that, then I will be very, very happy. So that's the way that I'm going to view content today. I don't think the pack weight's going to be insane. And because of that, I'm going to take a guess and say that the market might move a lot like it did last week remember the content last week was just kind of mid with the trailblazers yeah there were some decent cards there's a little bit of hype for it but team one of trailblazers was a lot more hyped and what happened was the market had a really really nice rebound from after the content dropped for like two to three hours i even remember some of the cards from trailblazers team one maybe you guys remember this too like griezmann went up to seven hundred and like thirty thousand coins salah was well over a million almost 1.1 jude i think was like 1.15 all of these cards, since they were going out of packs last week, they had a nice rise. Could that happen today with Trailblazers 2? In my opinion, maybe. If the promo team today is not packable, if the icons are super expensive, the SBC is not great, some of these cards could have a nice rebound. A lot of people are investing in Rabo because he looks to be one of the best Prem left backs in the game. He's got the good playstyle plus. He got a good pace boost. A lot of people are investing in him because a lot of people they think would like to use the card. Um, Cancelo, a lot of people are investing in for Pedri. Kane looks to be a decent card that could go up a bit just because it's a Kane with some pace and the power shot plus playstyle. 
I don't think I'm going to invest in any of these today until I actually see the content drop. But with how hard Trailblazers were to pack, they could potentially have a spike up today. And same thing we saw with last week as well. I remember Bon Mati, right? Bon Mati has a ton of hype right now. Um, her card was at like 205 last week when the content dropped. The content was mid and she went to like 230 in like the first hour or two after content. And there was a really big rise. as Everybody went back out to the market to buy cards for their team and to play foot champs. That could happen again today if the content is mid. And it might be a really good opportunity to buy some of your rare out of packs in forms. Maybe some of those new road to the knockout upgrades, old team of the week cards, and just rare meta golds in general if anything is down before content, and then you could have a nice rise there. But I'm not expecting a lot of panic today, um, at least for the first couple hours after content. So if you want to buy a team, maybe you look in that short time period after that so that you can sell for a little bit higher later on in the evening. But remember last week as well, we saw gold cards drop off a ton. And we were like, wow, why are gold cards just getting destroyed as much as they are? Um, could the same thing happen this week, remember last week, Musiala went from 23K down to 17,000 coins. Obviously, now he's cheaper. His gold cards just continue to slowly devalue as we go on through this game. Is the same thing going to happen this week? That's a question that I want to kind of talk about today because a lot of people look towards this time of the year as a big time of the year where market prices really start to drop off, right? We've had plenty of SBCs. People have had opportunities to get more and more untradeable cards in their team. And really, people start to get worried about the big continent in November, like Black Friday, right? And I know it's really early for that kind of thing. And the market's different every single year. Hey, I just noticed Neymar has Trickster, uh, Trickster Plus. Trickster Plus is back in the game, guys. Neymar has got it. Does Di Maria have it? I just noticed that. All right, quick segue here. Uh, does Di Maria have Trickster Plus? Did they Did they just add it back? They did. Go on, EA. All right, nice. All right, that wasn't added earlier in the day. That's my first time seeing that. There you go. If you're a Trickster Plus player, there you go. That's added back. Um... But with the rest of the market today, will we see drop-offs later into the evening and into tomorrow? I think that's really going to depend on people and a lot of people that are like worried about the market. If if there are big trading groups out there and other people saying, yeah, you got to sell, the market's just going to go down, then prices will probably drop. But if it's just average content and people are not saying to sell, just use the cards in your team, I think prices should be okay. It's really just going to depend on if people decide that they need to sell and get their coins that's what's going to drop the market, I really think, because if the content's not great, then it'll be what it is. But if the content is great, then, of course, you could see some drop offs as people sell cards to go to SBCs and all that sort of thing. So I don't think I'm too worried this weekend for like a massive market crash. I think there will be a pretty sizable market crash in the coming week, two, three, sometime before Black Friday. There will be a pretty sizable market drop. Now, I don't know what's going to cause it, whether it's a promo, whether it's an SBC maybe you know just panic in general for leaked content who knows um but that's just kind of something that we're like we we know that it's coming soon but it's really just not here yet now we're just kind of like waiting for it type of thing so i wouldn't be too scared but i would just say at this stage of the year try to get to more of an untradeable squad the more untradeable your squad can get and maybe you just spend coins on like buying players to try them out for a couple hours and weekend league here or there that's probably the better way to go about it in kind of the uncertain times of the year on the market that's just kind of general word words of advice when using cards for your team in weekend league but that doesn't i mean don't not buy a player because you're scared if you want to use them for weekend league like go freaking use the card have some fun so i'll say that there and just put that out there we'll be watching the market very clo close this weekend as always now speaking of the market last thing in the video here fodder SBC fodder prices are dropping a little bit, right? 84s are 2.3K. These are up because of the 84 plus double, and that SBC goes away. I would sell 84s if you got them. They're going to get supplied today. I'm imagining packs, again, in the store, tradable and untradable. And the 84 double, I do believe, is going to be going away. Let me double check this really fast. Pretty sure that it's going away. Usually EA don't, check, don't keep these SBCs available. Yeah, it's going away today on Friday. So I would say sell your 84s. I don't imagine they go too much higher. Uh, they're definitely going to drop after content. They might rise up as people do the 84 double earlier this morning. But I would sell those. 85s are dropping, as you can tell. And really... Fodder in general, I, I'm hoping drops off today because if even if we get an okay Odegaard, if Odegaard's going to be a good SBC, I don't think he can be more than like 150 or 200k unless they really juice up the card and, and even give him like a if they give him a four star weak foot and <laughs> and he's like 200k, that would be pretty nuts. And I think a lot of people would go ahead and do it, but I'm only expecting a three star weak foot boost today, if anything. Um, 
and his SBC shouldn't be that expensive. And if that's all that we get and we get pack supply, because I know there's some people with saved up packs, not a lot, but some, I think I would expect to see fodder drop off and that would potentially start an opportunity where we could invest. But I don't think I want to buy any fodder guys until I see it drop off. I mean, 89 is at 40K, like that, that is pretty expensive. I mean, where these cards were pre-big boom last week, like it's been two weeks now where fodder has been up a lot. Think about it. It was literally two weeks ago when we had Trailblazers Team 1 that fodder took off and 89s went from 23K all the way to 43,000 coins at their peak. I think it's going to be a time here in this next week, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, who knows, where we start to see fodder dip a little bit. I'm hoping at least. I'm hoping that we see fodder start to dip back down. And then once EA start to ramp up the content again, maybe later this month, they always start to ramp up the content before Black Friday so they can try to drain coins and then make you buy packs on Black Friday when they drop a bunch of stuff in the store, try to sell a bunch of packs with the big promo and all that sort of stuff, the first lightning rounds of the year and all that jazz. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping fodder drops off this weekend. I know there's a lot of great SBCs that are still out, right? You've got a great Blanc. We've got more SBCs coming, Mudrick and stuff like that. But we'll have to start to see what EA does with pricing those because you can kind of tell if EA starts overpricing SBCs, then it's like, all right, they don't want us to do these. And sometimes fodder will drop off a little bit during those times because people don't want to do those because they're overpriced. And then you start to see fodder dip down and then good content comes out and it starts to go back up. So we're going to be following that really close this weekend because... If fodder drops, I mean, we might have to get involved for this next week and see if we get a good vintage or stuff like that, For especially from the higher tier cards. But just in general, fodder's been inflated now for two weeks, and I think that it will drop down, not all the way back down to like 20K for these 89s. Like, I'm saying like 30,000, 32K for 89s. Like, maybe that sort of drop would be something that we could see this weekend. That'd still be a pretty sizable drop. So we'll have to see. I'll stop waffling about fodder, but hopefully today EA drop a good Odegaard. I mean, we know the objective. That's halfway decent already. And you know what, guys? I would be fine if EA messed with it today. Drop us some super supplied Centurions cards. With the way that this Rashford looks, it looks like it's going to be 2 million coins, right? With these official stats. Now, if they make him super supplied like that Team 2 of Road to the Knockouts, maybe he's only like 1.2 or something like that. And maybe this Tamori's only like... 300k and in that case we'd be like oh shoot these cards are kind of nice and they're new and they've got decent boosts and at least for some of them and they're pretty affordable then we could have a decent day of promo friday content so definitely watch out for the evolutions today as well that's a sleeper part of content if ea add them today but really comes down to the pack weight comes down to the sbc value and the icons too man all right ea let the icons be semi-packable and I'm st i still hope there's a couple lower rated ones in there I'm not expecting anything crazy. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see us react to all the content today live, drop a follow on Twitch link. We'll be uh, some streaming there today and watching everything unfold. Again, thanks for guys for watching today's video. I will see you in the stream today. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. Peace.